our Eye on Earth series today is the 50th anniversary of Earth Day. We're marking it in ways we never imagined because of this global pan pandemic that we're all living with right now. Satellite images show a dramatic decline in greenhouse gas emissions thanks to the drop off in human activity. We're also seeing wild animals roam in very unexpected places. Take a look at that. Perhaps the most obvious environmental change is much cleaner air, and that's a good thing. As Jamie Yukas shows us, the big question now for climatologists is, what happens next? This is the new normal for runners in the time of coronavirus. What isn't normal, especially here in Los Angeles, is this blue skies and clean air. Once the shelter in place went in in California, what did you see? We saw that LA had some of the cleanest air quality in the world. Have you ever seen it this clear up here before? No, no. Lori Dolphin Hammes is CEO of IQ Air, a tech company that tracks global air quality. Two weeks ago, her sensor showed something almost unimaginable. LA had the cleanest air of any major city on earth. About a year ago, Los Angeles was ranked the worst air quality in the entire country. And now we're seeing some of the best air quality, not just in the country, but in the world. Wide open. By some estimates, the pandemic lockdown has taken about 80% of passenger cars off local roads. IQ Air's data shows a resulting 31% reduction in air pollution compared to the same time frame last year. And it's not just Los Angeles. From a shockingly smog-free New Delhi in India to unusually clear waters in the canals of Venice, the world is suddenly learning what can happen if humans stop polluting the environment. But if things go back to normal, a week from now, that'll be a distant memory. The air will be just like it would have been. Stanford environmental scientist Rob Jackson says there's historic precedent for that. Global greenhouse gas emissions dropped about one and a half percent during the 2008 economic crisis. But within two years, they bounced back and kept growing. He fears the same thing could happen again. What if when the economy's hurting, we no longer care or care to safeguard the environment? The Senate will come to order. Although there are signs that's already happening in Washington, Jackson is optimistic about the number of people and companies learning how to telecommute. If we drive less, if we'll save time and, and make things healthier, it doesn't have to be shelter in home or clean air. It can be clean air every day. In the meantime, while some crucial climate field science in places like Greenland is being disrupted, the unprecedented shutdown of major cities is also proving to be a boon for other science as well. It has allowed us to really look at certain scenarios. That we Gabby Pfister is a climate scientist now studying our environment in conditions no one ever thought would occur. Assume all passenger cars are taken off the roads. What would happen to our climate and our air quality? I mean, this is typically something we can only test in our numerical models, but then we don't have observations. Well, now we do. Armed with this new data, scientists hope when we do return to our pre-pandemic lifestyles, we'll do so with lessons learned during the crisis. It has shown us that there are ways that we can make a significant change in the human footprint on our atmosphere and our nature. For CBS This Morning, Jamie Yukis, Los Angeles. Something to think about there. Many people see this as a major reset for humanity and the planet. I hope we're all listening and get the lesson.